Gold, silver and gold, silver, 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 gold, 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 let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Alrighty, so silver and gold update. Pretty much nothing day on the, on the metals, right? Pretty much a nothing day but a holding day. And let's actually have a look at the... We'll have a look at the uh, the silver first. You see, pretty much, you see what happened today. Came back down. We are finding a quite. We are finding on a short term anyway, guys. Short term here. Okay, bear with me. We can see that we actually the market had a lot, a lot of support where we are here. You can see that we actually had uh, support there, support there, support there, support there. So the market's come back down, and now it's finding some support through here. So. Really interesting to see that we actually had this rally up and now came back down as holding support. Do we rally up out of here? That's yet to be yet to be seen, but it looks like it's building some momentum there again. Now, if we go have a look, and so that's that's sort of it, um, what happened there. Go have a look on the on the gold chart. You can see gold actually had a quite a nice rally off this sort of support line through here, and we're still stuck in this overall triangle pattern. And if I just take this off the screen, because that that is that that is actually that is there, and let me actually take that off the screen so you can see what's going on. You can actually see that that with the with with actually gold, you're actually getting into this triangle pattern, right? So this nice triangle pattern through here is squeezing up. Do we get that break up and out? That's what I'm waiting for, and that's what I want to see. Now let me actually bring up to this chart here, and let me actually just see. Uh, Let me actually just uh, see what the, um, I just want to have a quick look at the indicators here because I haven't actually seen the indicators yet on this here. So let me actually go have a look here. So uh, for silver, pretty much nothing with the indicators here, just going sideways. So not really getting any real, uh, actually let me go and have, let me show you this here. As you guys can see, I have different time frames. Most of the, most of the time I'm looking at just nothing. Um, but sometimes I'm trying to trying to gauge what's happening here. So let me actually bring this chart up here. Again, I'm just trying to gauge what's happening here. So again, guys, see this chart here? I spend maybe 10% of my time looking at this chart. Most of the time I'm trying to read the price action. Price action looks quite bullish. You've got the 50 moving average pointing up higher. You've got the stochastics there. Not, not, really, not really seeing much here, even on the RSI. The RSI is sort of coming down. Not really overbought yet. So it looks like we still could get a bit more downside. Um, on the silver gold is actually starting to rally up look at the stochastics actually rallying up we haven't actually got the breakout yet but look how nice that's just holding there so gold actually looks like it's nice poised for nice to poise for moved up to the high side pretty much a nothing day on the SLV market as well too pretty low volume for today I would like to see a continued move up we have been getting that so really 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 nice move up um, do we get a drop down from here uh, I would actually like to see that because I'd like to see a pretty like a nice dig, nice drop down pretty pretty quickly and then I then I think that that'll that'll propel us moving to the high side. Looking on the GLD chart as well too, we actually got a turn here already on the GLD chart and it looks like we're starting to point up as well too. Bit a bit of a volume there as well too. So overall, guys, pretty much a nothing day, but we still really are. If we bring up that that longer term chart, you can really see that we're still pointing. Still pointing to, uh, you know, still pointing to quite significant levels on the high side. Let's go here, and you can see this is where this is where the gold is, a GLD is, um, and I do see we probably have got a nice sort of move back up towards that level there. If we go to the actual gold and silver chart, look at that SLV chart. See, that's the reason why on the SLV guys we're not we're not actually going down a lot. Look at it; it's actually holding a lot of support there, a lot of support. So I'm actually expecting this. If it does continue to hold, then um, then we could see a rise up. So maybe we don't get this thing chopped down because we're actually holding so much support here right now. So um, maybe more upside comes with that one. So let's actually go and have a look at the... Let me take that off the screen. 
and my computer can be any slower today. <laughs> um, so you can see squeezing up a triangle pattern. One thing you can see with uh, with silver guys is this whole level here is such a major area of significance where the market had a lot of problems through. So even if we do get a little drop down to 19, especially around the 1850 level guys, that 1850 level for me is, is quite a significant level there. So as long as it stays above here, it's gonna build more and more energy and for another blast off as well too. And looking at GLD, GLD, uh, oh, sorry, the gold chart, you can see it's still breaking up through here. If we do rally up and we start breaking above the 1400 level, guys, then 1550 is a short-term target. And if we break 1550, then we have a pretty, pretty strong move up to 1800 and above there. So uh, really, really interesting times, guys. That's what I see on the gold and silver. Remember, success can be yours if you go clamp it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.